this is not how you'd want your pilot to behave. But crazy as this flying looks, we all benefit from it. This is the new Boeing 737 MAX being put through some vomit-inducing tests to make sure it's safe for us. The 737 may be the best-selling commercial jet, but at going on 50 years old, it's getting long in the tooth. Hence the reboot. The 737 MAX is Boeing's attempt to get a few more decades of life out of it and a few thousand more sales. Check out the number above the front wheel, 1A001, the very first 737 MAX to come off the line, and it's here at Boeing Field in Seattle for testing. The MAX is actually the fourth generation 737. It's due to enter service next year. It's got new engines, split-tip winglets, airframe updates, and some new tech in the cockpit, all of which should make it at least 14% more efficient and 40% quieter. That's the reason for those new chevrons at the back of the jet engine, by the way. But a re-engineered plane means a full battery of extreme test flights before it can enter regular service. This is really giving you that kind of Tesla look, isn't it? With the yeah. giant flat screen all the way across the, all the, way the front across. of the cockpit. Yeah. I mean, if you come in here and look at it, this is the same as our brand new airplanes, the 787. So your responsibility is flying these planes on test flights, on flights that are really about gathering data. The, uh, the idea that when we go out and test fly an airplane is to bring it to a safe level for the flying public. We, we fly at the edge of the envelope all the time. Even sometimes we fly outside the uh, flight envelope of the airplane. Let's have a quick tour of this aircraft and see uh, exactly what they do. Your overwing exits are located here and here. They're actually open at the moment. If we walk down through, this is the pit. This is where the engineers sit. This is where the action really happens. They'll be monitoring almost anything you can think of on this plane from these seats and from the thousands of sensors that are dotted all the way around. Everything from fuel flow to aerodynamics to handling. If we keep going down, you can actually see uh, they have oxygen supplies up here so that they can do experiments with the cabin unpressurized if they need to. Uh, these are actually tanks of nitrogen. These are used to purge the instruments if they get wet to make sure the readings are exactly accurate keep going down. This looks like some sort of uh, high-tech, I don't know, sci-fi like engine, but it's not. This is clear plastic tubing, 250 feet of it, that can be let out the back of the plane and it'll trail behind. And they can use that to take measurements of what the air is doing way beyond any turbulence caused by the plane itself. As you can see, not much in the way of a galley or kitchen at the back, but there are in-flight refreshments. They're kept in this cooler here. Fancy new planes like Boeing's Carbon Fiber 787 Dreamliner or Airbus's gargantuan A380 may get most of the attention, but the 737 is the plane that you're most likely to fly on. They make up one third of the total worldwide fleet, so getting this one right matters. <laughs>